Good afternoon. Well, about two weeks ago, I was in the uh, process of repurchasing a new 110 model from Flexcone. Um, this is it here. I've just been testing it out at the moment. Brilliant little machine. This is the 110i model. Um, it has been updated a lot and I would highly recommend them to anyone. We've been testing it at the moment and what we're going to do today is we're going to put some buckets of material over there which we've already uh, prepared but there's one thing that comes with this machine and that's a variable control switch so when you actually start it you can make it go faster or slower You can put it in forward or reverse mode, okay? There's a save, there's a menu and everything else to go with it. Very good idea because the old model used to just have one speed and that was flat out and you still lost gold. But this model, brilliant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some of this dirt through. What we've actually done is this is um, clay material to break it up we've put some detergent in it so the clay doesn't become lumpy and sticks to the concentrator so we'll set up this sluice problem uh, here and we'll run the dirt up the top up here and then it'll just run down into the machine here has a classifier which is basically we'll tell you the size of material to go in there so you're not flooding it with oversized equipment but it's a very good machine so let's give it a go and see how we go we've got the machine working at the moment as you can see the water is flowing down the sluice so what we're going to do now is going to put some dirt into it and uh, we'll get it going having a bit of a flood down here but that's not a problem we made this up because it's so much easier to feed constant water down into the, the classifier and any oversize will be caught down there. So you're not actually holding a hose to um, try and feed it at the same time and sort out the dirt. We started putting some of the material in. You can see here the classification is actually sorting out the dirt, this is the oversize, so it's more or less it's, it's catching the oversized material, but it's very simple, we have, we have the material here, and we just feed it in there, it runs down, it'll sort itself through, any gold will go down there, oversized material will be caught in the classifier and the gold will be caught trapped in the concentrator so let's run this material through and let's see what we get okay we've run actually two of the buckets through they were quite thick the other two we'll do in a later setting but at the moment we'll pull this off show you how it all comes apart that's the concentrator on there dirt spins out comes out the back there very easy to take off just unclip there and there all right and there's your concentrates in there all right let's hope there's some gold in there what we need to do now is we need to wash it out all right it's a very simple process. Turn this inside out. We'll clean this out and then we'll be tipping it into the blue bowl. So now what we've done is we've actually turned the thing inside out and we've cleaned out the concentrates into the pan. Now most people are actually probably pan it out and uh, and then 
go from there but I like to uh, put the concentrates into a blue bowl so I know I'm going to catch all my gold and I'm not going to lose anything and with this I'll just give it a bit of a rinse out to put this back in it's very simple put that back into there that slips into those grooves again and she's ready to go for the next course it's not very hard even child can do this so what we'll do now is we'll take the concentrates and put them into the blue bowl The blue bowl is very good. Um, you usually would have this at a very slow rate and the material which is waste will work its way up and fall down and the gold will stay behind. Let's see what we get out of it. And there we have it. That's the end result of what we got. And beautiful catches all the very fine gold that is really nice so I would highly recommend in getting the 110 it's very easy to use it's simple you can do about 200 kilos in an hour but results are extraordinary about 98%.